Welcome to Medicare School Daily, where we help you understand Medicare, save money, avoid mistakes, and above all, get the most out of your Medicare benefits. Now, today's topic is this question here. How do you begin Medicare benefits if you recently lost your job? By the way, I hope this hasn't happened to you, but if it has, I know Medicare can be confusing and sometimes a little intimidating. So we're gonna show you exactly what you have to do if you lost your job. Number one, as I address the topic, I wanna to share some quick assumptions with you. Uh, first off, I am assuming that uh, you are above 65. You're either 67, maybe 79, uh, 83, whatever, but you're above 65, which means you no doubt have already enrolled into Medicare Part A only. A lot of people take Part A and not Part B, and they do that at 65 as they continue to work. And the other thing I'm assuming is that you have no other insurance options, which means uh, you're no longer working there and you don't have other employment lined up somewhere else. And so you have no other insurance options or your spouse is no longer working either. So there's no insurance options available whatsoever. So we're going to have to go on Medicare. Now, Medicare coverage always begins on the first of any month. You don't start Medicare in the middle of the month. You start on the first of whatever month uh, that you're going to enroll. So they'll start you the next month. So if I enroll this month, I'm going to start the next month on the first. That's the way the system works. So that's number one, present coverage. Number two, Medicare allows you to come into Medicare to start your benefits at different times. We call these enrollment periods. Now, someone that comes into Medicare right at 65 uses an enrollment period called the initial enrollment period. Well, clearly you're beyond 65, you're 67, 69 or beyond. So initial enrollment period is not available to you. The enrollment period you're going to use is called the special enrollment period. So this is for anyone coming into Medicare that was working at 65 and now they have lost that coverage. So uh, they could be 65 65 and a half or 67, but they're beyond 65. We use the special enrollment period, which has the acronym SEP. Now, as you read about the special enrollment period, you'll notice that this special enrollment period lasts for eight months. And what that means is that once the employer coverage is ended, you have eight months to come into Medicare. And that is true. However, what you need to know about those eight months is this. Let's suppose you've lost your plan at work, you're not on Medicare yet, and you have some kind of a large claim. In other words, some health issue happens, and you really don't have any insurance yet. You are going to have problems. So let me explain how this works uh, when it comes to Medicare eligibility and other insurance, all right? So let's suppose that you're still working. I know you're not, but let's suppose that you were, and you happen to be enrolled in, in Medicare. A lot of people do that today. In this situation, the employer is going to pay first. You're still working, employer pays first. Medicare is gonna be in the second payer position while you're still working. Those are just the rules. But again, you're no longer working, employment has ended. And if you're not working, what happens now, Medicare is gonna take the first payer position. And whatever in insurance you have beyond that, could be COBRA, could be retiree plan, maybe a supplemental plan. These are always going to pay second to Medicare. So if you've lost your job, and if you're going to be covered by one of these kind of plans, you have to enroll into Medicare to put them in the first payer position. So even though you have eight months to do that, once that employer position ends, if you have other insurance, it's over here. And so you have to get enrolled into Medicare to make sure they're first, because here's what happens. If you don't enroll into Medicare, once your coverage is ended, Medicare is not here. You know who's here? You are. So all of a sudden, you're in the first payer position. You're liable for all those bills, and you don't want to be in that position whatsoever. That's terrible. And so that's what we're saying. Once it ends, we're going to go on Medicare. So once my employer plan ends, June 30th, I'm starting that Medicare July 1, 11.30. I'm going to start that 12-1, all right? So we're going to come into Medicare using the special enrollment period. Now, the process of coming in through a special enrollment period is different. So let's talk about the process. First off, there's some documentation that we have to have uh, to get to Medicare. We'll do this through a local Social Security office, and there's actually two forms. One is called the L-564, and one is called the 40B. So let me explain these documents. I'm going to show them to you as well, and I know you can't see them, but I want to make my point this way. This is a one-page document. This L-564 is filled out by your employer, typically through the HR department. And what this is for, it'll be the name and address of the employer, your name and address, and Social Security number, and the HR is going to verify that you you have had employment as well as insurance all the way back to 65. So if you just lost your job and you're 69, we're going to have to go all the way back to 65. And we're going to have to prove to Medicare that you have had credible insurance coverage during those four years. Let's say you're 67. What do I have to do? Again, I got to go back to 65 to prove that we've had credible insurance. Now, there are times when people change jobs after 65. So let's say we change jobs somewhere in here. We're going to have to have this document from this employer 
as well as this employer, because we have to have every month covered. We have to prove to Medicare that you've had credible coverage every single month all the way back to 65. OK, so that's part of the process. And so these documents need to get to the Social Security office. And we recommend, if you can, to go to a local Social Security office and personally deliver those. If you can't, you can fax these in or you can mail them in. We like you to go personally because they typically don't get lost that way. All right. But they have to go to the local office. Now, if you don't know where your local office is, they have a Social Security office locator. You can put your zip code in under SSA.gov and they'll tell you what office you need to work through. All right. And so that's the process of getting enrolled uh, during the special enrollment period. And then lastly, there is a possibility that you may go back to work, meaning you just lost this job, but you may find another job and that job may have benefits. And if that happens to you, it is fine because what can happen is we would recommend that you stay in A only, but when it comes to B, you can actually terminate B. And there's a very simple paper uh, that will do that. You can turn that in and you can actually drop off the B. So if you do find another job or maybe your spouse finds a job and you have benefits, even though you were enrolled in Medicare, you can actually terminate the Part B uh, if you get other benefits uh, through an employer provided plan. So it's fine. But right now we need to go on Medicare. And again, if we get reemployed, then we can drop off that coverage. So this is the process that we use to better get into Medicare A and B if we've lost our job. Now, most of you know that beyond Medicare A and B, uh, there are other insurance products that will be necessary. Those plans are called supplemental plans, advantage plans, as well as prescription drug plans. And so you're going to choose some of this other insurance coverage to reduce your risk. So if you go to MedicareSchool.com, you'll find a lot of great information about all of those types of plans. And it'll help you to decide what's going to be your best coverage beyond just A and B. Thanks so much for watching. To learn more, watch the related video or check out our most recent video. Also, be sure you click to subscribe for free and get notified every time we post a new video. To watch our complete Medicare workshop, go to MedicareSchool.com. And finally, when you're ready to compare all your insurance options and get free enrollment help from one of our Medicare School guides, call the number on the screen. See you next time.